The community of Tembisa is still searching for answers around the death of Katle von Polo, whose body was used to fake the death of convicted rapist and murderer Tabo Besta. In May last year, the body of Mfolo was somehow smuggled into the Mangang prison and into Besta's cell, where it was burnt beyond recognition in a plant fire. The fire was a distraction for Besta to escape from prison. This weekend, the police confirmed that after matching DNA tests with his parents, the burnt body in Besta's cell was indeed that of 31-year-old Tembisa resident, Mpolo. Katle Mpolo Jr. was violently killed way before his body was smuggled into Mangang prison. Police Minister Begikele gave more details about Mpolo's death at a press briefing earlier this month. It doesn't look like a very blunt kind of instrument was used to hit that person. That is why the police at the present moment are investigating a case of murder. At the time, Ele referred to Mfolo as the body since his identity was not known. But Tabo Besta's prison escape was not a, victimle a victimless crime. Mpolo was not a subplot to this ever-unfolding story. He was a son to parents who have been praying for him for his safety return home for about a year. He was a father of two children, a boy who just turned three years old and a girl who is turning four next month. He was a Bloemfontein Celtic supporter. His favorite car was a BMW Gusheshe Alpina and he was a loving partner to Tabo Boleme, who he referred to as his queen in many of his Facebook posts. Over the course of Monday, Eyewitnesses News is hoping to speak to relatives and friends of Mpolo about who the kind of person he was, what his dreams and aspirations was before his path fatally crossed that of Besta and his alleged accomplices.